What's up guys, welcome back to another Code Human video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a simple calculator app with Swift. And it's this is a really easy project for beginners or anyone who's just you know starting out. And it's just a simple-minded calculator app that you can model after whatever you want. So let's get right into it. So here we are in Xcode, and we're gonna start out by just choosing single view app. Click next, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it um, simple calculator app. Okay, then obviously save it wherever you want and create it. And we're just going to give Xcode a second here to catch up. So now go straight to the storyboard. And here we are. So obviously, the important part about the calculator isn't so much the functionality, but the interface because a lot of people like to see similarities across the calculator interfaces so we're just going to get this set up in part one of the video today and yeah so obviously we're going to need a label and this is going to be used to display the calculator text so let's just erase label and replace it with zero and let's bump up the font to a very large size that way it's easy for our users to read it so let's just start out with like 65 and let's go ahead and change the background well, actually, before we do that, let's let's go ahead and change this text color to white and then change the background of the entire app to black. All right, so now we have this and we're actually going to just take this and make it a lot bigger. So let's just make it nice and wide like that. And we're going to align the text to the right because it seems like a lot of calculator apps seem to do that. I'm personally modeling this one after the iPhone calculator app because I really like that one and everyone's familiar with it. So let's start out with this and now we have our label. So obviously the rest of it's just going to be strictly buttons. So what we want to do is make sure this first button is pretty much perfect and then we could just copy and paste all the other ones. So let's start out, let's just say that this button is number one. Let's make the text color something simple to read, like white on this black background. And then let's change the background of the button to maybe like a, I don't know, like maybe like a darker gray. So you can do whatever you want. You can make a rainbow or blue or it really doesn't matter. Whatever color you want to use is completely up to you. So now we have the background of the button is a darker gray. Let's go ahead and resize the button to, I don't know, let's say 85. No, let's, let's start out with 80 by 80. So here we go. And one more thing before we start copying them over, I like to make my buttons rounded. So go ahead and click this plus button right here. Type in layer dot corner, and then a capital R to spell out radius. So layer dot corner radius, click enter, and then click uh, this boolean here change it to number and then I like to change mine to number five what you're doing here is you're specifying the number of pixels that you want it to take off the border of the square you know the border radius it wants to um, you know it, you're telling it what kind of curvature the corners are gonna have so five is a really nice way to start and, and of course until you actually run the app it's not gonna show up here so as far as this thing thinks it's it's just a square button but once you run it the compiler will realize that you actually have more properties on the button and then it will go ahead and display it accordingly so one thing i've remembered is that to actually make the rounded corners appear you have to click on the button and go down to clip to bounds so now if we just give it a quick test run we will go ahead and see that you actually have a perfectly rounded button so guys, we're running the test right now, and obviously you see, once we ran it, like I said, the corners apply, and here we go. So we have a nice rounded button. So let's just get right out of that simulator here, and let's start copying over all of these buttons. So let's move this one down here where we'd like it. You guys can put the buttons wherever you want. You know, I just like to model it kind of like what the iPhone app has already. So we're gonna do this, and then just start copying and pasting the button and just kind of putting a nice spacing in between them. That way, 
there's not a lot of hassle and they look real nice and organized. So this looks almost identical to what we want. Let's just add one more button because we're actually gonna have another row of buttons for that, all the functions on the side of the screen. So I would say that this is about where we want it. Let's go ahead and just take this whole row, center it perfectly. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to take the row and copy it just a few times. So we obviously need the one, two, three, and then this would be four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine. Okay, and actually it looks like we uh, accidentally put that a little too close. Let's move it up with our arrow keys and then paste it one more time right up here. And might as well just do it once again right on the bottom here. We're obviously not gonna have this many buttons, but it's nice to do this and you can kind of remove them later. So just move this up a little bit. And you know, for the most part, I'd say that looks pretty evenly spaced. Maybe I'm blind and you know, it's a terrible job, but for now I, I would say my own my own opinion it looks it looks okay. So let's first start. We're gonna just go ahead and remove this button. We're gonna widen out the equals button to take up two slots. It's really nice having a bigger equals button and it's just easier to, to hit when you're ready for your calculation to be done. So let's go ahead and set this to equals. And something else I'm realizing is the font's a little bit too small, but for now, we're gonna leave it at this and then all, at the end, we're just gonna highlight it all at once and then go ahead and bump up the font. So we're gonna go through on each of these buttons, set them to what they need to be. So this is a decimal and this is going to be zero. And then, you know, obviously this is a one and two, three. And I mean, you guys get the point. Just go ahead and go through all these buttons, set up the numbers so that each, each number has its own button. And here we go, we're almost done. So another thing that we are going to do is on most calculators, you would have a clear button here, the plus minus button here, and the modulus symbol here. Now, just for simplicity's sake, we're not gonna be dealing with negatives today, and we're not gonna be dealing with modulus. If you guys would like to see something like that, go ahead and put it in the comments and I will make another video. But for now, we're actually going to delete both of these buttons and this button right here, we're gonna make it very large. This is going to be the auto clear button. Okay, so then here we got divide. Oops, actually put a decimal after that. So we have divide, multiply, minus, and then plus. All right guys, so now we have a pretty nice interface. But something that I would like to do is change the color of the function buttons to something else. And I'm trying to model it after the iOS app um, that you get when you get your iPhone, obviously, the system app. So let's go ahead and you know take each one of these buttons and just change up the background on it. So this system dot or the system orange color looks pretty similar to what you have on your phone already. So let's go ahead and just change each one of these colors here. And we're gonna just go down the board and put all of them to orange. And for the auto clear button, let's actually go ahead and make it, um, let's make it like a lighter gray. All right, so I think this looks pretty good so far. We have our colors set up and we have all this aligned, so Thank you guys for watching this video. Please tune in for part two of the tutorial. I will connect all these buttons to the code and we will put the functionality in that will make your calculator work. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, drop a like, drop a comment for any suggestions, and thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.